Let us consider a projectile projected from the point O. Let this green path be the trajectory of the projectile. Let its initial velocity or the velocity of projection be u and theta be the angle of projection. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about the range of the projectile, the range. The range basically means the maximum horizontal distance covered by the projectile, which means suppose this point is P, here this length OP is called the range of the projectile or R. We just represent the range using the letter R. So how will you find the expression for range of the projectile? Before that, just resolve the u one along the x-axis and the and along y-axis. On resolving u, you get u cos theta along x-axis and u sin theta along y-axis. The component close to theta including theta will be u cos theta and the other component will be u sin theta. Now, let's take the expression second kinematic equation that is sc is equal to ut plus half a t square. This is the second kinematic uh, equation of motion. So, we are, we are just focusing on only on the horizontal motion of the projectile. So, consider, consider the horizontal, horizontal motion of the projectile, of the projectile from the point O to P. Let's consider the motion of the horizontal motion of the projectile from O to B. So we have to change all the values in here correspondingly. We have to fit all the horizontal values of the horizontal values of the, all these factors in here. So S will be this displacement along the x direction. We can call that as Sx. U will be Ux. T no need to write tx or ty because time runs same for both the axes. Plus half, here it is ax, then t squared. Clearly, sx is equal to, sx will be the max, the distance covered by the projector. We are considering the motion from O to P. So, sx will be the range of the projector or r, the horizontal distance. Ux is the, see, what, what, what is the initial velocity of the projectile in horizontal direction? It's u cos theta. So, this, this is the Ux, u cos theta. What about Ax? Uh, before that, t. What is t? We already discussed how to find the time of flight. And this uh, time taken by the projectile to move from O to P is time of flight, Tf. If you don't know how to find the time of flight, go and check the video. Videos uh, uh, I uploaded before. So t is equal to tf and acceleration. What is ax? Since acceleration is always in the vertical direction, and it is equal to gravity, or we can call as minus g. There is no component of acceleration. This this thing we can call as a y. And we have no component of acceleration along x direction. So ax is 0. Ay is minus g that we know. But there is no component of acceleration along the x direction. So simply write ax is equal to 0. Again t equal to tf. We can substitute all these values in here. So this will be r is equal to u cos theta into time of flight tf plus half into this is zero. This term entirely becomes zero. From the, this, there, there will be no second term. So, r equal to u cos theta into tf. Now, what is the value of tf? tf is the time of flight and we already derived it before. So, 
r is equal to r is equal to u cos theta into tf we know tf time of flight is actually 2u sin theta divided by g so substitute in here so it will be 2u sin theta divided by g so this will be r is equal to uh, u into u will be u square into 2 first write 2 sin theta then write 2 cos theta by g therefore let's clear this place you know 2 sin theta cos theta actually 2 sin theta times cos theta is actually sin 2 theta therefore r is equal to u square instead of 2 sin theta cos theta you only have to write sin 2 theta divided by g so this is our expression for rate maximum rate and you should know what is the maximum range what what is the angle of projection in order to get maximum range you know r, r is maximum r is maximum when sine 2 theta is equal to 1 because sine 2 theta this 1 is the maximum value of sine 2 theta clear so r is range is maximum when sine 2 theta equal to 1 also also the we, we are just considering the initial velocity to be constant at, at, at a particular we are only considering a particular initial velocity so range is maximum and sine 2 theta equal to 1 so what is the where, how, when, when do this sign become 1 definitely sine 90 is 1 so 2 theta must be 1 so 2 theta must be 90 or sin 2 theta equal to sin when sin equal to 9 the angle is 90 then sin 90 equal to 1 comparing this you will get 2 theta equal to 90 or theta equal to 90 by 2 45 degree so range is maximum when the angle of projection is 45 degree keeping the velocity initial velocity of projection constant clear